What we see here is the energy harvester demonstrator. The application is a battery-less wireless light switch. It simply turns the bulb on and off. On the left is the energy harvester demonstrator. On the right, the receiver with a lamp. The demonstrator contains these parts. On the base are the energy harvesters. Their task is to harvest energy from input or environment. There are four different harvesters. These are the Echo 100 from an ocean, generating energy from mechanical work from the user. A magnetic field is moved inside a coil. A piezo from lightning switch also generating energy from user's mechanical work, but using the piezoelectric effect of deforming a crystal. The Peltier element generates a small voltage from a temperature difference on both sides. There is a solar cell existent of six cells in series generating energy from incident light. The next step is to transform the voltages from the different energy harvesters to an appropriate voltage for the transmitter. On top there is a Bluetooth low energy transmitter working on 2.4 GHz, data rate is 1 megabit per second, and it runs to a distance of 10 meters. It will send a command to toggle the lamp. The transceiver chip and the microcontroller are from E.M. Marin. Last but not least, the receiver. It contains the lamp and the Bluetooth low energy receiver. When it receives the corresponding packet, the lamp will be switched on and off. Now all four harvesters are presented in action. Let's have a close look at the Echo 100. As said, it uses mechanical work from the user to generate an output voltage. It works in single shot mode, which means there is energy only when there is an event, the user pushing the switch. Depending on the direction of pushing the switch, the output voltage may be positive or negative. So, a bridge rectifier is needed. The energy will be stored in the capacitor C. The pros are, there is a good ratio of voltage and current and the energy is available shortly after pushing. Furthermore, it is the simplest harvester to use. On the other side, there is a magnetic field emitted and it may mechanically wear out. The piezo is also operating in single mode. After pushing, it will swing for a short period. This makes it slow. The output voltage can reach 60 volts. Because of the oscillation, there is also a rectifier needed. Positive is, there is no electrical field emitted. But it is slow. The voltage may reach a high level and it may wear out. The Peltier element works on the Seebeck effect. It produces current out of a temperature difference. It can generate some milliampères, but the voltage is around 50 millivolt, which is extremely small. When there is a heat flow through the element, it will always generate energy. When it is installed, it does not need any support like cleaning or so. The solar cell transforms light to voltage. In the demo, there are two solar cells with three cells used. In this way, 
the output voltage of both cells is about 3.6 volt and can directly be stored in a capacitor. It works also in continuous mode. To use, it is very simple and small and it may already deliver energy from diffuse light. But it needs some support and the current is very small.